moment uh, to talk about uh, this. This is uh, something I came across uh, this morning, and I want to uh, signal boost. I love to boost signals um, because uh, I, I did not hear about this earlier, and it's happening now. So uh, there is a strike on Etsy. Uh, Etsy is like an arts and crafts program, uh, like not this website. And uh, people will, like, make things and sell them on Etsy. It's kind of like eBay, but more tailored to, like, custom arts and crafts rather than just whatever you want to sell. Um, and so Etsy is doing a fee hike. Um, and uh, so I want to support this strike by signal boosting this. This is an article from The Verge. Uh, and then I want to show some graphics here that were made by someone on Twitter. But let's read this article. This is dated March 30th. A little bit late, but the strike is set to take place starting today. So... In February, Etsy CEO, there's a dog barking. Max, what the heck? In February, Etsy CEO Josh Silverman had good news to share with investors. Sales and revenue were at an all-time high, sending Etsy stock soaring. At the same time, Silverman had less welcome news for sellers. Delivered via email, transaction fees were going up from 5% to 6.5%, or a 30% increase beginning on April 11th. So, now, I don't use Etsy, um... I've bought a couple things from Etsy, but I don't. I do not sell on Etsy, um, though I do sell on eBay. I do have an eBay store that is woefully uh, abandoned. I have not. I have not updated that in a long time. Um, but eBay also, uh, as another, as as an eBay seller, um, I know that eBay does these things where they'll just increase prices, uh, fees over and over and over again to the point where, right, like, you know. You, it's very difficult to sell things, right, that are less valuable than something like $5, um, even though, like, where else would you sell things that, like, you know, little trinkets, like, you know, trading cards, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, if if some if you have to pay, like, 40% on a transaction of something like that, like, it makes it so that you can't really sell things. Uh, so, a lot of people on Etsy, well, they'll make, like, really cheap, kind, like, not cheap in the sense that they're poorly made, but cheap in the sense that, you know, $5 button, $5 sticker, you know, like a sticker set or something like that, you know, just like fun little trinkets uh, that you can sell. And again, when prices increase for the fees on the seller side, right, that means uh, the seller will have to increase the price in order to uh, basically stay afloat, to stay at neutral. And then, you know, buyers will see the increased price and they'll go like, what the fuck? Really, I mean, at the at the end of the day, what this really boils down to is we need to get rid of Etsy, we need to get rid of eBay, we need to get rid of these centralized stores, get rid of Amazon, get rid of all this shit. We need to go back to people having their own individual stores. We need to go, we need to have a, an index. Instead of having an Etsy, have an open source index of people's uh, stores uh, that are like, let's say it's a community project among sellers on all these different platforms, get together, make one centralized website that's owned by every seller. You can have your store integrated into it for search results and all that stuff. We don't need these companies to be like, you know, handling all of the fulfillments and all this and that and this and that. Why? Because they will always, again, corporations are going to corporation. They're always going to try to take as much money as they can. And in this instance, again, people that sell things on Etsy or eBay, uh, they're already cutting close when it comes to a profit margin. Uh, that's already like a significant problem. And so again, we need to go, like this is a, a thing where again, we need to go back in time. We need to go back to how online shopping was before these giant corporations took things over, uh, when it would just be, you would look on a search engine, uh, or like you'd see like a post-it note on the bulletin board and you're like, whatever, like place that you go to, um, and you see like a directory of websites that sell stuff that's way better than having to deal with this stuff. But let me continue. Uh, for Christy Cassidy, an active seller on Etsy since 2007, the fee increase was the last straw. Cassidy, who sells gothic Victorian costumes and accessories, had a happy first decade on the platform. She was able to reach a customer base eager to buy handmade products, and she grew her business selling made-to-order and custom pieces. But for the last few years, changes that Etsy has uh, that she feels hurt sellers were piling up. Rising fees, mandatory marketing programs, and an influx of drop shippers. Um, I don't know what that means. Um, 
drop shipper. I have no idea what that means. And the marketplace no longer felt like somewhere where artisan products and hand-picked vintage items were prioritized. Shortly after hearing of the fee increase, Cassidy headed to the Etsy seller's subreddit, where she flood, where which was flooded with comments about the news, and wrote a post. I wonder, Cassidy wrote, what would happen if on April 11th, so many sellers put their shops on vacation mode that Etsy starts shitting bricks. Vacation mode is a thing where, if, like, let's say you're going on vacation, and someone buys something from your store. You can't, you can't do anything. You're on vacation, right? So it's like, you know, do you have to stay at home all day? Do you have to bring your store with you on vacation? No, they have vacation mode. You say either you don't accept purchases uh, for that period of time, or you say, if you make a purchase, I can't do it un until I get home. And so, you know, the shipping and handling period is whatever it is normally plus seven days, 14 days, however long I'm on vacation. That's what that means. Shortly after hearing of the fee, in oh, I already read that. Now, Cassidy and other Etsy sellers are planning to do just that. On April 11, thousands of Etsy shops have committed to going onto into vacation mode, suspending sales for a little over a week in protest of recent changes for the platform. That's the thing is a week. I don't know if a week is going to do anything. Um, we need to be able to support sellers off of Etsy. This is the ultimate thing is we need to make people not put their shops on vacation mode, but get rid of their Etsy shops altogether, right? And, uh, be able to sustain their business on their own terms, with their own website, with their own platform that doesn't take ridiculous fees. So anyway, I want to share some artwork here. I want to post this in the chat room as well so you can share this and retweet this. Um, here's some artwork made uh, on Twitter by at Etsy Strike. Uh, so, you know, you can just read all this stuff. Uh, this explains, uh, once again, here's the pandemic profits. Like every other corporation that exists, uh, they've made a lot of money throughout the pandemic that has not been shared with the sellers. So again, why doesn't the CEO take a 2% pay cut instead of making every single seller that again, sellers on Etsy, uh, people that own their own businesses and do online sales, they're not making that much money. Oftentimes, most sellers are just making barely enough, maybe not enough. Maybe it's a side hobby. Maybe they're underwater on it. And, you know, it's not their main thing. It's their side hobby. Uh, it's something like that. And they're trying to monetize it, right? So again, the CEOs of these companies, the big fat cats on the board, they make plenty of money, right? So why doesn't the CEO just take a 1% pay cut instead of forcing all of these people that already aren't doing so well, right, to pay more money. Now, once again, this is something I want to talk about as well. Here's a little bit of a timeline uh, for uh, the fee increases. But this is something I want to talk about too. This part of the artwork uh, is, is very important is that eBay also does this kind of stuff where instead of just handling all the fees internally, right? Like for example, uh, you know, let's say, like, let's say you have something for 20 bucks, just for the sake of argument, it's 20 bucks, right? And let's say the fees total are about four dollars okay instead of just etsy processing that taking what's off the top and then giving you the leftover they do this thing where you have to like end up like paying it back in a really weird way um ebay does this i'm not sure how etsy's works exactly um but this is like a really weird thing so again it, it makes it so that it like sometimes you could list something and sell something and then not make enough money to be able to cover the transaction fee and so what this leads to people doing is increasing their prices it's an inflationary uh thing and again the ceo could just take a one percent pay cut and never and then never no one would ever have to deal with this again no one would ever even have to think about dealing with this but the ceo is greedy the people on the board are greedy these are greedy fucking fat cat loser pricks right so again uh, this is something that's really bizarre. The shipping costs and stuff is all calculated in the worst way possible. But anyway, I just wanted to lend my support to this. I saw this this morning. Uh, and so again, once again, I want to let everyone know. Uh, I would highly recommend if you have a Twitter account to retweet that on Twitter. Uh, spread the awareness. Do not use Etsy uh, for this week uh, from April 11th to April 18th. You don't need to. Whatever you want to buy on Etsy, you know, buy it in a week from, from now uh, if you need to. Um, and again, once again, if you ever see an Etsy seller or an eBay seller that you like, try to find out if they have their own store. Uh, you know, again, it's also just to say it's against eBay terms of service. I'm not sure about Etsy um, to try to make, you know, offers outside of eBay. Um, but that being said, you know, if you see something on my eBay store, whenever I, I get back into posting stuff on my eBay store, if you see something on my eBay store that you want, Feel free to send me a message and don't buy it through eBay. I'm just saying, right? Because, you know, I get more money out of that. So if you like someone, if you like their products or whatever, find them on social media, say, hey, can I, you know, 
don't message them on the platform itself, right? Because then they might get in trouble as well. Uh, find them on another social media platform. Say, hey, I like your stuff. Don't want to buy it through Etsy. Uh, can we do it through just PayPal? Or can I just like, you know, try to find another way so that they don't have to have their fees uh, dealt with and all that and they can make more money at the end. So anyway, supports to that. And uh, there you go.